Hi there, it's Mr. Rops, and we're going to do uh, another optimization problem here. The total cost of producing X blankets is this. Each blanket may be sold for this much money. Each blanket. So this is for one blanket. How many blankets should be produced per day to maximize the total profit? Well, if I'm looking for profit, we'll make profit a function of X, then it's going to be the, re the revenue, which is the amount of money that comes into the company, minus the total costs. Well, revenue is simply going to be this value here, 1 half x. That's for each blanket sold times how many blankets, and that will tell me how much money is coming in altogether. Minus my cost function, which is a quarter x squared plus 8x plus 20. If I simplify this function, I get 23x minus half x squared minus quarter x squared plus 8x plus 20. Continue to simplify, I get negative 3 quarters x squared. Oh, careful here, I forgot to distribute my negative signs. So I have to make these negative and a negative. Okay, so going back here, I'm going to have a positive 15x minus 20. That's my profit function. If I want to maximize my total profit, I'm going to find the derivative of my profit, which will be negative 3 halves x plus 15. Set it equal to 0, and I'm going to get... Uh, minus 3 halves x equals minus 15. Multiply both sides by a 2 thirds negative. By a 2 thirds negative. Those will cancel, and so x will be, that's, that's a 5, x will be 10 blankets. Now I should check to see if it's a maximum. There's two ways I can do it. I could do first derivative test, where I look at the signs, here's P, I can put 10 here. If I plug in a value, let's say 1 into here, I'm going to get a positive value, which means I am increasing. If I put a value over here, let's say like 100, this will be a negative value, really big, and so overall negative and going down maximum. That's one way. The other way I could check it is by taking the, deri the second derivative. The second derivative is equal to negative 3 halves. That means the function p of x is always concave down because it's negative, as the second derivative of p double prime is negative. So, since it's concave down, that means that that point is a maximum. So in order to make maximum profit, you should produce 10 blankets a day.